Sup everyone, I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review the masterful chapter that is chapter 23 of The Promised Neverland. Unfortunately, I have to record this review in the god room, which makes my voice sound all echoey and stuff instead of recording back over in my room over at, you know, well, the dormitory and stuff. Unfortunately, my roommate brought her boyfriend over and, you know, it's probably best not to intrude. But anyway, after this chapter, I was just like, who do I think? for this 11 out of 10 chapter. Who do I think? I realized that I do not even know the mangaka's name. So I decided to look it up and it is time. We now know the name. That is Kayu Shirai Sensei. Arigato gozaimasu Shirai Sensei. Of course, just when I announced that Crone is Actually, best girl, she dies. Ain't that always the case? But for real though, let's start from the beginning. In the beginning, we actually had a lot of color pages, and I was like, ooh, like, like the Promised Neverland was on the cover of Shonen Jump, and then they also had color pages, and then they had, you know, another color cover page, and I was like, whoa, what is this? Wow, like, maybe it's because they were building up the hype for this chapter, which makes sense. This chapter was too. Just fantastic, honestly. So what happened in said chapter? Crone actually got a letter saying that she has been appointed to mama. And I was like, what? Like, I was so shocked. I was like, what? What? I thought she got the boot. She's actually being promoted to mama? What is this? But Crone knew something was up. And I had a feeling that was the case because Isabella, she said she sent a letter of recommendation to the higher ups after a mama over at Plantation 4 was, was like unable to do her job. So Isabella sent a letter of recommendation and that's the thing that gets you thinking like, wait, you would recommend Crone? Nah, something's not right. And something wasn't right because after that, we find out that this is all a ruse once we meet grandma. We still don't know how she looks, but that's fine. We don't even need to know. What's important is her true intentions. Isabella may, no, actually, she isn't the real villain here. You know, people say that there are no such thing as bad students, only bad teachers. This may apply to the whole situation between grandma and Isabella because we know that those two are in cahoots together just not so in sync as I thought <laughs> honestly the fact that they planned all this and grandma's making sure oh so sure that the woman she has raised becomes the best in all of the nation the best plantation the best quality food, the best mama. Why? Maybe grandma and Isabella are actually related? Possibly. But right now we know that Isabella is very well much being used as Crone was. Crazy world. Crone said it best, honestly. The fact that this society, this shitty society as she put it needs to change and now she's placing her hopes on the kids we know that she ran into a conversation between a human and a demon like having a normal conversation with each other and the human was treated just like any other demon they were on the same level and we see that that person is william minerva aka the guy who wrote the books he's alive the man is alive and well. Oh, wow. So it's true. It's absolutely true. If you want to survive, you have to get on that William Minerva level. You have to become on the same status as the demons. Otherwise, there's no way how you can survive. William dropped his pen, and that's how we knew that it was William, because it was marked WM, being William Minerva. And we see that this pen is more than just a pen. So Crone left it for the kids to find and she wants them to take mama down and change everything omg you know one thing that a lot of people have been wondering ever since you know connie died was why the plant 
Why the plant? It seemed like a plant was growing out of her when she died. Well, when we see Crone getting taken away by that demon, the demon has like a, what do you, it's like a bouquet pen or something like that, which I'm assuming is their way of a funeral. Cause you know, funerals, you give flowers over to the deceased. So they take a bouquet like pen, a bouquet sword or something like that. Cause you know, it's sharp at the end. So, you know, they stab it through you, <laughs> you know, it's probably the same, uh, a deadly bouquet sword thing. I am great with names, people. And just like that, Crone dies. But the manga still goes on. So we have the kids planning their investigation. And if all goes well, then they will escape tomorrow. And honestly, after all this that we found out, I'm so happy that there's so much more to this manga. Like, let's say, honestly, I don't think this is going to happen, but let's say that the kids escape successfully. There's so much more that needs to be done, that needs to be figured out, you know? Like grandma's plan and reason as to why she puts Isabella on a pedestal. Why, why the demons, you know, what, what happened to the world? Why are the demons all taken over and stuff like that? Why is life this way? When was it like this? And survival for the kids. Cause after they escape, the next part is survival as we know. Apologies for the background noise, so you know what, I guess I'll have to end this review right here. But let me know your thoughts on this chapter. And once more, arigato gozaimasu, Kayu Shirai-sensei. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.